William Jones was born on September 28, 1746 in London. He was the founder of the Asiatic Society and gained immense fame as the most learned and greatest linguist of the 18th century. His language skills were legendary. He knew about 28 to 29 languages. He could read and write in French, English, Greek, Latin, Hebrew, Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, Arabic, Runic, Syriac, Ethiopic, Coptic, Welsh, Swedish, Dutch, Bengali, Sanskrit, Hindi, Tibetan, Pali, Pallavi, Japanese, Chinese, etc. He could even write literature. William Jones achieved great success during his lifetime. In the eyes of the world, he was an idolized wonder of talent. His memory was also unique and extraordinary. From the age of 13 or 14, he could read a whole book and rewrite it. William Jones matriculated in 1746 and entered Oxford. Seeing him, the Oxford teachers realized that Jones was an exceptionally gifted student. As a result, his daily attendance at the college was suspended. Even if he didn't come to class regularly for studying, he would go on. He learned Arabic while staying at Oxford. 1768 AD learned Persian language. It was during this time that he translated Mirza Mehdi's History of Nadir Shah A. Nadiri into French at the request of King Christian VII of Denmark. After reading that translation, King Louis XVI of France said in amazement that this boy knows the French language better than me. Jones graduated in 1768 and started studying barrister. Between 1771 and 1774 AD, his French grammar and collection of poems were published. Translation of poems in various languages. Then came out the translation of poet Hafiz's poem, Persian Song of Hafiz. By 1828, the ninth edition of his French grammar was published. With the publication of the book, Jones' three titles were combined. Jones the French, Jones the Linguist, and Jones the Oriental. William Jones became a Fellow of the Royal Society of London on April 30, 1772 at the age of 26. 1773 at Drive, Johnson became a member of the club. In June of that year, he M. received this degree in 1774 A.D. started the profession of lawyer. 1783 A.D. Jones came to India. He joined the Calcutta Supreme Court as a judge. Before being sent here, he was knighted. 1783 A.D. He came to Kolkata with his wife Anna Maria for work. When William Jones came to India he found the treasure of Sanskrit literature. India is like a huge gem of literature, culture, philosophy and science. He established the Asiatic Society of Bengal in Calcutta like the Royal Society in London. He was unanimously elected as its president. Then William Jones started teaching Sanskrit language. He went to Banaras and found the Vedic sage Manas Manavdharma Shastra. He started studying and researching. He saw that Indian Sanskrit and many European languages were basically derived from the same language. 1786 AD he published the results of his research. As a result, the science of comparative linguistics was born. William Jones was always engaged in the study of Sanskrit literature. He named Mahakabhi Kalidas as Shakespeare of India. In Europe, the story of Shakuntala eclipsed the story of the French Revolution. The lifespan of this great legendary man was very short. In 1793 his wife Anna Maria left Calcutta and went to London. The following year i.e. 1794 A.D. Jones's translation of Manu Sanhita was published. 
On April 27 of that year, William Jones succumbed to tumor disease and died at the age of 48 in a Kolkata hospital. But he is immortal among scholars. He lives on through the name of the Asiatic Society.